Hi guys, as you can see by the title I'm gonna share with you some of my Island 2 opinions. I haven't been following everything super closely but I've still watched all of the episodes and I can confidently say this show is already a mess. But anyway, let me just start with the opinions already. Jiyun is simply not fit to work in a group. Jiyun is pretty talented but the way she handles the situation when things don't go her way is pretty childish. If she doesn't get the parts she wants she just gets grumpy and becomes closed off looking distant during practice and barely putting in any effort, and I guess you could argue and say that she's a teenager after all, and many people her age would react in the same way, but I haven't seen any other contestant reacting like her even when things didn't go as planned, she's not the only one who wasn't able to sing the parts she wanted, she's not the only one who had to settle for parts they didn't want to do, but she's the only one that acted so entitled, the real problem is if she debuts, God only knows how many times group members will have to give up a part they want to sing just because the producers think another member suits it best. Sometimes I envision Jiyun debuting in the final group, with the girls getting ready for their debut and Jiyun throwing a tantrum in the recording studio because she didn't get the part she wanted. This will only create friction between the members and her attitude might make the others feel guilty. How is she ever gonna function in a group if she doesn't grow up? Not to mention she always looks annoyed at every contestant that doesn't vote for her when it comes to assigning the parts. I think she's talented and has a lot of potential, but her attitude is just not fit to work in a group. She needs to learn that things won't always go her way and that you need to suck it up and do your best with the part that you are given instead of acting like a child. I know many people might think she's just being evil edited but I think that this is actually her real attitude and Mnet is just using this to their advantage to create more drama but she's doing it to herself. I just want to say that I really like her voice and I think she's super pretty and has a good stage presence, so it's not like I dislike her and I don't want to see her debuting, but I just don't think it's gonna work unless she changes her attitude. I find Jimin to be quite overrated. I have previously watched Are You Next, so I'm quite familiar with Jimin, don't get me wrong, I think she's definitely more than ready to debut and she always gives satisfying performances but it really feels like most people seem to regard her as someone who has the best center quality. I think they have this mindset just because she's already famous from a previous show and she also has previous experience in performing, so maybe that's why people overpraise her as the center, but I do not feel the same, and I especially thought this during the whistle stage. She did well, but almost all the other girls stood out to me as being more charismatic. They all seem to have more center quality than her and even if she was charming she wasn't as captivating as some of the other girls. I've seen many stands putting her on a pedestal, but I don't think she's all that. Even when it comes to vocals or dancing, she's just okay. She reminds me a lot of Urina from Girls Planet. Because Urina was also hyped up so much even if she didn't necessarily have any outstanding quality. But back to Jimin, she's surely well-rounded enough to debut and be an idol. In fact I don't think an idol has to necessarily have super strong skills in everything, so Jimin is more than fine, but the way people speak about her and praise her this much you'd think she's this crazily talented person with an immense vocal talent, incredible dancing skills and insane center quality when she's not, again, I'm not saying she's weak, but she isn't as amazing as some of you make her out to be. This show is lacking a main vocal material. I can't be the only one that thinks these trainees are very lacking in the vocal department compared to other survival shows like the Produce series, Girls Planet, My Teenage Girl and Universe Ticket. The only one that seems to be above average in Island 2 is Jungoon. She's the only one that I can see becoming a solid main vocalist if she debuts. Jiyoon and Fuko could be good lead vocalists but they aren't main vocal material, while the other contestants are all pretty mediocre. If Jungoon debuts, which is pretty likely. She will for sure be the main vocalist, but even Jungoon isn't on par with other 4th gen main vocalists of already debuted groups. It baffles me how there are only a couple of strong vocalists out of all the trainees. It wasn't like this on other survival shows and this is genuinely disappointing. I think Sebi is the best choice for the center. If I envision a final lineup I can't help but think Sebi would be the perfect center. It's not that she's necessarily the one with the best stage presence overall because I think there are quite a few people with pretty good stage presence, but Sebi is the one with the most versatile presence in my opinion. Most contestants tend to excel in one concept and be kind of lackluster in other concepts, but Sebi pretty much fits everything, whether it's a girl crush concept, a cool concept, 
a cute concept or an elegant concept. She also has a certain something about her that reminds me of other idols with an insane center quality like Xiao Ting and Wan Yang. She has that it girl factor, something that kinda goes beyond simply being a good performer with good presence. I don't know what it is but she just radiates insane star quality. We have a future it girl in the making. The production set the girls up with Panorama. Despite the lack of powerhouse vocalists, the production is still giving the girls songs that are definitely too difficult to sing. They were literally setting them up with Panorama. I can't even blame the girls for struggling. After all not everyone can be on the level of Ice One's vocal line. This song choice made me so fucking mad because how are the girls gonna benefit from straining their vocals that much to reach the notes? That's just gonna damage their voices as it doesn't complement their vocal tones and their skills. All in all I think this show is in serious need of a powerhouse vocalist but it's nowhere to be found. And the least the production could do would be giving the contestants songs that are in their range. Panorama was an absurd setup and I hope they won't make the same mistake in giving the girls way too difficult songs. I need Sarang in the final lineup so bad. Sarang went from being one of the trainees I was most indifferent to, to pretty much becoming my number one pick. And this would have never happened if she didn't get the chance to showcase what she's got. I just find her completely mesmerizing when she performs. Her parts are always so memorable to me and I could watch her dance for hours. She uses charisma with every move and her stage presence is pretty versatile and suits many different concepts. She also has nice vocals and has pretty good leadership skills as we've seen in the latest episode. Sarang seems to be very determined and hardworking but she is also very balanced and she's someone that the team can really rely on. I need her to debut so bad. I'm so serious. I might be biased because she's my one pick, but I feel like she's more than ready to debut. She just devours the stage every time she performs and it's crazy how we would have never known what she was capable of if she didn't get the chance to showcase her skills. This makes me hope to see other contestants that have remained in the shadows finally having their breakthrough moment, because there are actually so many trainees that still haven't had the chance to show what they're really capable of. I'm low-key rooting for Chehan even if she's lacking. Listen. I definitely value talent when it comes to who I wish to see debuting, but there's just something about Chehan that makes me want to see her in the final lineup even if she still has a long way to go. First of all she has so much potential in my opinion, especially considering that she never trained as an idol before this competition, but most importantly she is incredibly hardworking and you can see that she is really trying her best. I really like her attitude and I think her ballet skills could be a great addition to future choreographies. It would be interesting seeing her executing some ballet moves, kinda like Kazuo did in some Lee Seraphim's choreographies. I highly doubt Chehan will debut, but I just hope we'll see her debuting in a group in the future. I really wanna see her as an idol. She reminds me a lot of Yu Yuan of Triple S when she was in My Teenage Girl. Yu Yuan didn't have any previous training and she started from scratch. Even if she was lacking she was my number one pick in My Teenage Girl because I could see her potential. She had a certain something about her that made me like her instantly. And even if she didn't make it I was extremely proud in seeing how much she ended up shining in Triple S. I'm glad she continued to work hard to become an idol and didn't give up on her dream. So I wish Chehan would do the same in case she doesn't make it into this final lineup. And last but not least, I'm scared for the future of this upcoming group. If Wake One managed Kepler like shit, what makes you think this group would be any different? I just hope that since this group will be permanent they will put in more effort. Maybe they didn't try that hard with Kepler because they knew the girls would disband and they just kinda gave up on the when they saw they weren't gaining as much popularity as they expected. But maybe things will be different this time around. However I can't help but being worried for this upcoming group and how their activities will be managed. First and foremost I hope that Wake One will craft the concept around the group instead of deciding on a concept even before the lineup is finalized and making the members fit the concept, because that's not how it should work. I feel like with Kepler it's always been pretty obvious that their concept didn't fit everyone. So I wish for Wake One to decide on the concept only after the group is formed, and then I obviously hope every girl will get to shine instead of being underutilized like many Kepler members. I will never trust Wake One but let's just hope for the best. So this was it. If you wanna share any opinion on the show, feel free to comment down below. And if you want, let me also know who your picks are. Thanks for watching till the end. Bye besties.